Hey guys, this is Gamer D here, coming at you with a new series of gaming on the game Little Big Planet Karting. I got this game a little while ago, but I never really got into it into the story mode. So I thought that since I have a new gaming channel, why not play it with you guys? So what is going to happen is I am going to be playing two or more levels each day, depending on the time we have. Okay, now before I bore you, let's get started. The greedy grabbing all are a simple one. So driving one of their commandeered cars isn't going to be a prop for a clever clog like you. You just need to be shown the basics and you'll be away faster than a cowpat off a hot, shiny shovel. A quick tour of the controller would be good. Oh, would you prefer to use the X button or the R2 button to accelerate? Okay. Most game, most racing games I play, I, I play with R2, so I'm going I'm to go with R2. Basics. Press the acceleration button and your cart will move forward. Keep it down if you want to burn wool. You can achieve some pretty exhilarating speeds in this game, so let go of the button if you want to slow down for a corner or stop altogether. The brake button will stop you even quicker if you need a new brake. Once you've stopped, keep that brake button held down if you want to reverse. Steering is done by pushing the left stick, left or right, or you can use the directional buttons. Well, if you're happy with the ergonomic comfort of your controller layout, just give the old action button a sammy stab, and it's all confirmed. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this. It feels comfortable. Excellent. You pick your preferred controller buttons, and we can continue. And if you want to go back and alter them at any stage, feel free to do so in the pause menu or the settings menu in your pod. You have to feel 100% comfortable when you're wacky racing. Am I not right, sir? In karting lingo, drifting means taking a corner in a really cool way. Okay. It's skidding but controlled skidding and saves all the hassle of braking. To drift, steer the way you want to go in a corner whilst pressing and holding the drift button. The cart turns to the side and skids in a visually pleasing manner, I might add. It's advisable to hold your drift until your tires ignite. That's a good time to release the drift button and get a satisfying boost. You get my drift? was a superb bit of drifting, both excellent and excellent. The boost you get is from the positive thinking molecules of the Imagisphere igniting in the drift backdraft. The bigger the flame, the bigger the boost. Now, who wants to know how to steer and drift at the same time? Hmm? You're doing brilliantly with the drifting, now to drift whilst steering your car. So this time, press the drift button and steer with the left stick. Remember, DNS, drift and steer. Okay. Nailed it. Gee, you did. Now you're equipped with another string to your bow. Well, you passed your driving test with all the flying colors of the rainbow. Time to start your weapons training. No, we're not getting bogged down in the logistics of logistics. We're simply going to show you how to blast suckers off the road. Behold the Weaponator. A serious bit of kit. Drive through it to pick it up. Then you can start collecting weapons. Each time you get one, Sackboy will be holding it, looking tougher than nine-year-old cheese and twice as dangerous. Oh, nicely connected there, number one. You are now furnished with the Weaponator. He dishes out weapons to what he calls RR Two words, or some light gun style. Now, let's talk about how to make every shot count. Taking a hit will slow you down and make you lose slight control of your cart, so avoid it if you can. 
now we're going to give you what we call a defensive weapon. Defensive weapons are slightly sneaky in that they can be deployed behind you to slow down other races or destroy incoming weapons fire. If you watch for the incoming weapon icon, you'll see it changes into a shield. This is the exact time to press the weapon button and deploy your defensive weapon. When the icon shows a shield, the defensive weapon will fire backwards to intercept the barrage from the brutes behind. Tailgaters. Okay, this game gets really intense. Let's get ready to use this. Just remember, once you have a weapon, you can make use of it straight away or save it for a more dire situation. You can set the difficulty level of your game, you know. Normal is your box standard threat and hurdle setting and is nothing you can't handle. But if you're of a mind to Sunday drive with very little to do, set it to casual. You can always alter it later to rev up the fun. I think I'm gonna stick with normal to go for the Congrats. harder track. In fact, what the heck? Congratulations. Have the full lock. You've learned so much in such a short time. If I didn't know better, I think you were an animal. And if you ever forget anything or you want to quit you can get your sack of tushy back here and we'll do the whole valley lot of you. I will love it. Alright, now we finished the tutorial, I think. Move on to the next, next level. This is a pretty fun game. Lots of weapons and shooting. Involves a lot of strategy and skill. Definitely skill. <laughs> Your pod really is the business end of a rattling good idea. Use the controller to access your pod computer. Then you can choose games or locate your sack chums. The menu button is your card key if you like. Tap it to begin the adventure. Have I told you about our loyalty, bonus, allegiance, reward, tar, monthly, welcome back, have a prezi scheme? <gasps> no? Oh, it's terrific. You've been to Little Big Planet before, so this is our way of saying a big thank you to you, you for coming back. You get a completely free bonus sack person costume and complimentary cart. Little Big Planet Karting, where we share the love. Okay then. What's up? Alright, let's get started. First, let's try out this, this new car. It's made of like balloons. Uh -uh. I don't want to take too much time on this, I'll just. I'll go with this. Cowboy. Oh, wait. Now let's get into our next level. Little Big Planet Karting is all about fun, frolic, prizes, and happy challenges. But there are other hands at work here right now. Greedy, grabby hands that would pluck the colors from a rainbow or the sun from a summer's day and never give them back. At first, this threat was a mild peril, a bothersome subplot to our happy story. But if something isn't done, and soon, it'll become a tragic saga. We need a hero. A champion in a cart. And we're looking in your direction. Press the action button to jump into story mode. Alright, let's get right into this. Let the sack race begin, as it's time for your first foray into Imagic Karting. There are mild perils to be faced in the shape of those pesky hoarders. Scoundrels to a man. 
They cause a fuss wherever they go with their constant challenges. They think they're so fast in their tacky carts, leaning out of them, gesturing for a race, thumbing their whatever passes for noses at us. We'll show them. Well, you know. The pristine Queen Serene, some old chumblies, and some new friends are all waiting to see you take them down a peg or ten. Go on, beat them at their own game. Crazy karting. Alright, he talks a lot. Let's get right into this. I'll also be doing those little bonus, bonus races later on. So we'll get, we'll, we'll finish the whole thing. Don't worry about that. Alright. First race. Let's get right into it. Bad start. Alright. I need to collect those collect gifts. Right. Oh, you get prizes. That's awesome. in first place there. Alright. Let's take these guys down. Whoa. Alright, first place. Let's stay. Oh yeah, I would like survive that. Oh. Another prize pack. So I guess this is all for like creative for all these prizes and the costumes. That'd be fun. Like after oh, I'm just gonna hit by my own bomb. Who is this? Yeah, it's a lot harder at the end. Alright guys, if you like this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, it helped me a lot. I really like doing this, so I'll be here next time. See you guys later on a little bit of planet karting gameplay. Bye.